Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror. We found ourselves in the middle of what looks like uh, a rainforest or a jungle or something. I have no idea what's going on anymore. We've washed up here, we're gonna have to explore and see. There's a vine here we can pick up apparently. There we go, we'll take that. I'm not sure what that will be useful for. Could, be useful. could well be, maybe we can use it to like descend something or tie something up, I don't know. The contraption consisted of a crude wooden wheel with wooden slats. So some sort of washing machine. The machine is broken. But it's broken, of course it is. Yeah, so no idea where we are now. Some sort of little village or something. Can we look at this bridge? Music here is interesting. It would have been a shame to tamper with the elegant bridge. I mean, it's quite a nice. Perfect for a game of poo sticks. Poo sticks, yeah, nice. Uh, there's a water wheel here. The iron rim of the water wheel would have torn the skin from my fingers if I touched it. All right, well, we don't want to touch it then. There's a pump here as well. There's some pretty complex machinery. It's got to be said. A wooden box was connected to the nearby water wheel. So, some sort of power, I'm guessing. Um, the machine seemed to be pumping air up to the treehouse. Oh, pumping air. So maybe it's like an air conditioning system. The water wheel had been built to provide a natural source of power. Oh no, it's power. Okay. Alright, well. It was a pile of damp leaves. Can we do anything with these damp leaves? It was a pile of damp leaves. Yeah, you already said that, George. Uh, I don't suppose we can pick it up or anything? No. Alright, well. Uh, there's a cross here. I, I, do, do we want to take that? Apparently we do. It was heavy. I guess that was intentional. Uh. Oh. Uh. So. Right. Well, we've picked. I, I kind of feel. That that feels like it might have been like a, a marker for a grave or something. I'm not sure we should have picked that up, but we can potentially use it for something. We'll have to remember that's there. Be working just fine. Okay. There's a press. Two round stones were carefully balanced on a wooden structure. I'm not sure what the deal is with the organ music. It's kind of, um, I don't know, a bit weird. Too heavy to turn by hand. And of course the smart speaker's kicking in. Um, not sure what triggered that. How do we, can we get up here? I always wanted a treehouse like that when I was a kid. We can't climb up, I'm guessing. Maybe we can make a rope? Hello? Anyone home? No, yeah, appears not. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go up there, though. Can we, can we go up this path, or is it just a dead end? Uh, I mean, he's going somewhere. No, there's nothing there. All right, well, um, I don't know, do we? I don't know. Can we like? Oh, can we make like a hook or something with this? No, I wondered if we could like make it into a grapple or something. Throw it up there and use it as a a thing. Um, oh, it looks like we can maybe bring the cross over here. Oh, I see. The leverage from the cross allowed me to turn one of the stones, but the other one remained stationary. Why do we want to do this? Can we, like, tie these together then or something? I'm, I'm not really sure why we would want to mess with these things, but apparently we need to. The vine provided a drive belt to connect the two stones. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what these stones are doing, to be honest, but I guess we're going to find out. Let's try it again. Also, where is Nico? Now I had the contraption working. Yeah, but what is it... What is it doing? The stones were too heavy to turn by hand. Did it slow this down or something? I, d I don't know if it's connected up to this. Let's let's do it again and see what happens. Does it affect that thing? Doesn't look like it. I'm, not, I'm really not sure what that's doing. 
got to do something with these leaves, surely. There's, there's nowhere we can get up to this that I can see. We've got this washing machine here that we can't do anything with. Huh, this is a little bit strange, honestly. It was a water wheel. I I'm guessing we're going to have to sabotage this in some way. The machine seemed to be pumping. It seemed to be working just. Because maybe if it stops the power, then whoever's up here might come out to investigate. But I don't really know how we're going to do that. If we like mess it up with this, no. We can't, like, clog it up or something. Oh, maybe we can. No? Okay. Uh, huh. Can we, like, use the coal? No. Very strange. It was a pile of damp leaves. What can we do with damp leaves? It was a pile leaves? of damp leaves. See, I'm not really... Two round stones were carefully balanced on a wooden structure. Yeah, but what's the purpose of it? It's a press. The too heavy to turn by hand. What's it pressing? That's the question. Because we've... Can we, like... I couldn't see any great benefit in sharpening the cross. Sharpening? Oh, so this is for sharpening things, then, is it? What would we want to sharpen? Uh, I don't actually know what we would want to sharpen, to be quite honest. You want to sharpen this or something? No. Can we, like... It seemed to be working just fine. So it's working fine, so the it doesn't... The seemed to be pumping air up to the treehouse. Okay, well... It's got to be something to do with this, hasn't it? See, I don't know if that organ is somebody up in there playing the organ or if it's just the music it's turning but it's not actually doing anything um weird so this is damp leaves that's not doing anything it was a pile of damp leaves we've got to do something with the damp leaves surely Alright, let's just try everything we've got on the damp leaves and see where that gets us. No. Uh, what, what have we got in here? Is that it's a, it's a te the tequila one. Does he want to go in the leaves even though he's dead? No. Uh, can we put... Ah, okay, we can put this on here. I placed the newspaper clipping over the damp leaves. Okay. It was a pile of damp leaves. It was a pile of... So why have we put the newspaper clipping on there? Right, uh... It seemed to be working just fine. We don't seem to be able to get the newspaper clipping back, weirdly. Um... Can we, like... Strange. Can we maybe, like, put this on the leaves now? No, it won't do that either. Um, I don't, I see, don't know. Um, it was a pile of damp leaves. So why did we put that on the leaves? I don't, I don't really understand. No. Can we do anything with this thing over here? So it's a washing machine. I don't know what this thing is here. The machine was broken. It's a broken machine. Contraction consisted of a crude wooden wheel with wooden slats. Right. Can we use anything on here? Can we, like, maybe connect this up to some sort of pulley? No. Uh, I, I genuinely don't really know what we're supposed to be doing here. This is the first time in the game that I felt like it's not massively self-explanatory what we've got to do. No. Uh... Genuinely don't know. No. No, okay, so it doesn't look like we've got to do anything with that. Have we got to break the pump or something? So we've got the water wheel. It was a water wheel. The 
iron rim of the water wheel would have torn the skin from my fingers if I touched it. So maybe we have got to use something on this then, because he said about about it tearing his skin. So maybe we've got to put something hard on here. Uh, this thing. No. This thing. Apparently we've got to do that. Oh, we're going to sharpen it. I see. Alright. As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Oh, I see. Because the paper was on there. It's like the sparks have set the little bush on fire. Which is... Oh, and now that... Oh, I see the smoke's going in. Right, I get it. God, that was a little bit long-winded, actually. Put out that fire. I found a sick woman up here. Oh, is it Sorry, Nico? Father, but I needed to attract your attention. All right, how are we going to put this fire out? Oh, he's just going to stamp on it. Fair enough. <laughs> I thought we might have to gather some water or something, but apparently not. I'm still really not not really sure what we've got to do with that, that press thing over here. That's a bit random. I guess we've probably figured out part of what we've got to do with it in advance, then. Who are you? And what do you want? Long My story. Name is Stobart, George Stobart. I'm Father Hubert. I don't suppose you speak French. Huh? Why do you want to know that? I found a young woman with a fever on the river this morning. Oh, it is going to be Nico. Oh, close to death. And there's nothing I can do for her but pray. I don't understand. Oh, God. I think she's speaking French. Close to death? Are, that must be Nico. Uh, that's not good news. Right, let's speak to this guy and find out more. What are you doing out here in the jungle? God's work. Not quite the destination I had in mind when I set out, but... I don't know what they say. Mysterious ways and all. Yes, yes. You didn't plan to end up here? No. I was on my way to the miners' camp in the north. I was stuck here when my boat capsized on the river. Ah. That's exactly what happened to me. How long have you been here? Eleven years. Wow. Okay, we don't want to be here for 11 years. That's my girlfriend you've got in your treehouse. What's the matter with her? She's been bitten by a venomous river snake. Oh, no. Can't you do something for her? There's a cure, isn't there? Yeah, it's got to be an anti-venom. But the local people speak of a root, which they believe will counteract the poison. Ah. Yes, I knew there'd be an anti-venom. Where can I find this room? I don't know. But maybe the shame of the village can tell us. Uh, let's ask more about can you that. Show me the way to the village. B. Oh, but I can't. Can't. Nico's life depends on it. Go right. Of course, I should, despite my own guilt and shame. But I can't go as a representative of God with a priest collar. A priest collar? You mean you put your personal attire higher than the life <laughs> of a sick woman? I will not go to that village looking anything. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to use that on here. Collar. I'm sure I can find a way to press Yeah, it. there we go. So we, we actually figured that out ahead of time, didn't we? In the meantime, I must contemplate my sermon. So I always pays to explore as much as possible. You, you, you just, there was yeah. obviously more than a creased collar bothering the priest. Yeah, I wonder what he's so embarrassed about. It can't just be his collar, surely. Right. We've got to put this in here, obviously, and then press it using this thing. There we go. So we actually figured out a puzzle without knowing so it was a puzzle. Hundreds of miles from civilization, doing the housework for a priest. <laughs> it's a strange world. It's a very strange world. Let's pick this up. And we'll use the press. So we're basically ironing his collar for him. Fair enough. <laughs> the press works surprisingly well on the collar. <laughs> Looks a bit like, you know, you know the pasta makers where you like wheel the little bit of pasta through and it just drops down. It's a bit like that. Let's pick that up then and give that back to the priest. And then, so there's a village. I'm guessing the village is probably going to be up here given that there's a path, but we had to sort of unlock it. So, uh, good news, priest. We've, um, we've ironed your collar and it's looking fantastic. Here's your collar, father. There you Thank go. You You'd probably think it a little odd of me to make such a pass. Yes. Oh no. If I've been living in the jungle for 11 years, I'd be completely screwy too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perhaps I am. Ever since my last visit to that village. Uh, why? What's the deal with the village? Do you want to tell me what happened at the village? I forgot my vows. I let myself be overwhelmed by the beauty of this unspoiled paradise. And in a moment of weakness, 
animal passion. Hi. You know, you should be writing romantic novels. <laughs> Sounds cool. Did you experience some kind of a physical liaison? Physical liaison, George. Really? I found myself doing the monkey dance. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I didn't want to pry any deeper into Hubert's murky past. Yeah, let's not ask any more about that. Now you've got your collar back, will you take me to the village? I still don't finish my sermon. Oh, come on. Look, Father, I still don't know why you're so reluctant to visit that village. And it's none of my business. Whatever the reason, it can't be more important than saving Nico's life. Definitely. Right. I must be crazy. You are. Must make haste if we're to reach the village before nightfall. Oh, God, it seems like it's a long way away then. By the time we reached the village, it was sunset. Wow. All right, well, it looks like we've reached the village. Are these guys going to let us through? Hello, boys. Glad to see you're still wearing the underpants. <laughs> They're the best Christmas present we ever had, Father. Mine are too tight. <laughs> well, we all have our cross to bear. Uh, this is George. He has a request to make. I'm afraid I can't stay. Good luck, George. Thank you. Well, off he goes. I mean, it has been all afternoon, I guess. That's a relief. I never feel comfortable with him about. Mm. Me neither. These damn pants keep riding right up my butt. <laughs> Enough with the so, pants. What do you want? Uh, let's ask about Nico. My girlfriend has been bitten by a snake. So, everyone in my family has been bitten by snakes. I was bitten by a dormouse once. She's <laughs> real sick. I hoped your wise man might have medicine. Wise man? You must have the wrong village. Oh? Okay, that's weird. Father Hubert said there was a wise man in the village who could help me. Ooh, he must mean the old man, the shaman. Yeah, I think so. Are you going to stand by and let my girlfriend die? Of course not. What do you think we are, savages? No. We'll start the preparations for a cremation feast. No, we don't. Not a cremation feast. Come I'd on. I'd like to see the shaman, please. You can't just go walking in there and demand to speak to the shaman. Oh. Why not? You have to observe the protocol. The shaman demands tribute. Tribute? You mean like a gift? That's right. The eternal question: What do you give a man who has everything? Hmm, well, maybe maybe this thing, I'm guessing, is what I would lean towards. Give me a clue. What kind of things does your shaman like? Does he have a hobby, a favorite sport? You insult us. The shaman lives on a higher plane. Right. Oh, right. Maybe a book would be more suitable. Or a jigsaw puzzle? <laughs> don't you just hate choosing presents for people you don't know? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's leave it there for now, because we're actually out of time. So we'll figure out the present in the next one. But this is really good. I'm loving this part of the game. It's really, really interesting. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.